Hello Kettle fans, today I'll be talking about the improvements in the Excel input step, you know, the step that allows you to read Excel spreadsheets. The improvements that we made there is that it's now capable of also uh, reading Excel 2007 and OpenOffice uh, workbooks. So we uh, simply added another uh, field in the uh, Excel input dialog where you now are uh, capable of specification of the spreadsheet type. Uh, this is the backward compatible engine that is not capable of reading the 2007 files. The Apache POI project allows you to indeed read Excel 2007 XLSX files, uh, but it will also read uh, regular Excel files. And the OpenOffice uh, ODS uh, reader provided by the uh, ODF DOM implementation, the reference implementation for OpenOffice documents. Uh, everything else is uh, exactly the same for the three formats, so you can have all the exact same features. Uh, and This basically uh, allows you to not relearn everything uh, all over again, and that allowed us to not having to rewrite the whole dialogue two times over, or three times over. So the fields and everything else, exactly the same. And in fact, we created a small test uh, sample in the samples folders, uh, sample transformation. It's called Excel input, XLS, XLSX, and ODS reading. And it basically reads uh, three files uh, with the same content, and it does a unique row to see if uh, anything goes wrong with that. Um, so, uh, from a user perspective, very simple to use, very easy to uh, get started with that. Uh, from a code perspective, we uh, added a, a number of interfaces, the K-Workbook, the Kettle Workbook, the Kettle Sheet, the Cell Type, and the Kettle Cell interfaces. And uh, basically, these use the minimal sets, uh, set of uh, methods. Uh, that uh, Excel input needs to work. And uh, for example, a list of sheet names, uh, get the sheet by name or get a sheet by index or close the workbook file. On the sheet level, it's the same thing get a row or get a cell in a certain position. And uh, the cell basically has uh, the capability of getting a value in a kettle format or get a string con or get a specific uh, the row number in the sheet. So one of the things uh, that we did, we created uh, first uh, the Excel, um, the classical, the existing uh, implementation. Then we created the uh, POI workbook implementation, which is uh, the Excel 2007 support. And we also created uh, the ODF workbook implementation and uh, one factory that uh, basically gets you the workbook. Uh, now, uh, we also created three unit tests to make sure that uh, the exact same thing is read from these uh, Excel files in the right format. And this was not always quite trivial because uh, Certain engines treat uh, time zones a little bit differently, so uh, time zone corrections were needed for dates and stuff like that. But this, uh, this, um, this, uh, these tests basically test for all these uh, cases and make sure that uh, the engines uh, work as it should. All right. Uh, so we want to do the same thing for the Excel output, but uh, given the fact that there are uh, a lot of templating code uh, efforts. <laughs> in the past with that step. It's not certain that we'll uh, be able to get that ready for 410, uh, but this this uh, Excel input reading, in fact, is ready. Okay, thank you for your time and for your interest in Kettle. Until next time, bye.